Amiens had yet to win in the new year and hadn't won in the league since the last week of November, a run of games which had seen them plummet from 9th to 16th. Their opponents, Guingamp, sat 7th but had a poor record on the road from home. Six of their eight losses had come on their travels. Both teams had only played each other once before in the French top flight. That was back in October when both teams played out a 1-1 draw. And it was a penalty for the home side. Immediately, Montcontri fouled by Diallo. Spot kick, which was converted by Musa Kanate. His first goal this season from the penalty spot. And he took it well. It was then Mendoza's turn to call Carl Jan Johnson into action, but the Gargan goalkeeper standing his ground save you'd expect him to make. Guingamp responded before the break with a Marcus Coco goal. And he took it very well. Shot from range. Gertner gets a hand to it. But he can't parry it away. The shot was just a little bit too powerful for him. The replay showed that the goalkeeper should have done better. One all at half time. Amiens disappointed to let a goal slip in after they dominated most of the first half. A domination which continued in the second half with a brilliant finish by Kanate. His second of the evening, his seventh of the season. And this one is an absolutely brilliant finish. He takes it on the bounce. Johnson has no chance with that one. Superb technique. Konate was then substituted by Mathieu Budmer. Budmer, who himself would get on the score sheet before the end of the match. Poor defending from Gargant. Let Manzala sneak in. He hit the post, and then Budmer was there to turn in the rebound. Good play by the home side, who endeavoured to attack throughout the match and were rewarded. Three one, the final score. Amiens get a much needed win and move out of the bottom three. It's a minor setback for Gagan, who add another poor result to their away record.